Apart from kiddies, carnival youngsters look forward to donning pretty, fancy gowns and bonnets for the annual Easter Bonnet Parade, which has become a tradition in the country for many young girls and boys. Sherilyn Lewis gives us a closer look at some of the gowns and bonnets she saw parading the streets of downtown Arima. Color creativity and intricate designs dominated the Easter Bonnet competition and street parade in Arima today. From a variety of colors such as turquoise, black and yellow, including this unique Rastafari colored Easter Bonnet, this crochet gown, and even these beautiful contrasting gowns and bonnets in shades of pink and yellow. Sherilyn Lewis, C News. And youngsters from Arima and Environs got dolled up in their costumes with fancy Easter bonnets and paraded through the borough for an Easter street parade, much to the delight of the parents and their onlookers. Again, here's Sherilyn Lewis. Over 40 youngsters showed off their fancy Easter get-ups and a borough's Easter bonnet competition and parade, with the winner hoping to walk away with a grand prize and trophy. Most of the contestants are from Arima. And from what ages? We're doing Babe in Arms to age 12. And what are some of the prizes they stand to win? I think the grand prize is $500 and a major trophy. And most importantly, we will take them to give back to the, to the home to let them see that charity is an important foundation. And that is what we're trying to promote right now. This competition is part of the Boros Year of the Family series of events, which the mayor said is all about uniting families together. We deemed this year 2017 as the year of the family. We started off in Carnival with right. family-friendly activities and we're continuing towards the year. And even Boro Day this year is going to be about the family and this is just yet another event celebrating the family in Arima. But it's not just about fun and competition, Mayor Morris Julian said. The proceeds will go to a home in the area. Margaret Kisto's home for children in Malabar. We really pleased with Margaret Kisto and her family and all that they do for the less fortunate in Arima in particular. After the Easter Bonnet Parade, there will be an egg hunt where the older children will take part. Sherilyn Lewis, C News.